हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक टेक्निकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन एग्रीकल्चर बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर इन नाइनटीन सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रजेंटेशन इज टेक्निकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज कंसर्न it is playing very very important role in agriculture technological change has been the major driving force for increasing agriculture productivity and promoting agriculture development in the past the choice of technologies and their adoption was to increase production productivity and farm incomes over many decades policies for agriculture trade research and development education training and advice have been a strong influence on the choice of technology the level of agriculture production and farm practices and day by day there is great use of all these technologies in agriculture for improvement now to study adoption of technologies the adoption of technologies that have the potential to contribute to sustainable farming systems technology adoption however is a broad concept it is affected by the development dissemination and application at the farm level of existing and new biological chemical and mechanical techniques all of which are encompassed in farm capital and their inputs it is also affected by education training advice and information which form the basis of farmers knowledge it also includes technologies and practices in the whole agri food sector that have an impact at the farm level finally it should be born in mind that most of these new technologies originate outside the farm sector agriculture remains to be a great player in the generation of revenue and a source of food for many people all over the world over the past years this sector has been a lot of changes and advancement in the different farming approaches and techniques for example now at age there is use of inorganic fertilizer the consumption of reduced amount of pesticide the use of different tractors and machineries and remote sensing the availability of such inputs has been the need for the use of natural resources and processes with aim of improving agriculture output and reducing costs the use of modern technology in agriculture comes with a lot of benefits technology in agriculture can be used in different aspects of agriculture such as the application of herbicide pesticide fertilizer and improved seed over the years technology has proved to be extremely useful in the agriculture sector presently farmers are able to grow crops in areas where they were thought could not grow but this is only possible through agriculture biotechnology for example genetic engineering has made it possible to introduce certain trends into other genes of crop or animals such engineering boost the resistance of the crops to pests and droughts through technology farmers are in a position to electrify every process for efficiency and improved production now here we will study about types of technologies technologies are often classified into three types first one is hardware which refers to physical tools after that second is softwares which refer to the processes skills knowledge and information required in making use of technologies and third is orgware which means organizational technologies it refers to the ownership and institutional arrangements pertaining to technologies in the agriculture sector hardware is exemplified by different crop varieties and software by farming practices or research by new farming varieties and orgware means by the local institutions that assist in the utilization of agriculture 
adaptation technologies. Hardware and soft technologies are often introduced in isolation. It has been recognized that their simultaneous integration with orgware is essential for achievement in adaptation. Now the technologies used in agriculture sector. The main purpose of making use of technologies in the agricultural sector is to lead to an increase in production so that sufficient food is available to the individuals. There are various technologies which can be described like first one is biotechnology. Use of biotechnological tools in agriculture could make food crops high yielding and more vigorous to biotic and abiotic problems. This could soothe and increase food supply which is important against the background of increasing food requirements, climate change, and land and water scarcity. The form of genetic engineering most people have possibly heard of is herbicide resistance, the other would possibly be insect resistant traits. The use of insecticides and pesticides are made use of to control pests that may damage the crops. In most cases, biotechnology toxins are made use of that is the same toxin found in some organic pesticides. Insecticides and pesticides should be of good quality that crop can easily adapt to and help in augmenting productivity. As biotechnology is concerned, the global arable land were planted with genetically modified crops such as soybean, corn, cotton and canola. But most of these crops were not grown primarily for direct use. In India, genetically modified cotton, biotechnology cotton was first commercialized in 2002 and in 2020, over 7 million farmers had adopted this technology on 11.7 .7 million hectares area which is equivalent to 94% of the country's total cotton area. Biotechnology cotton has positively increased the profitability of the farmers and simultaneously reduced the use of chemical pesticides in this crop significantly. The introduction of biotechnology has reduced food insecurity by 15-20% to amongst the Indian cotton growers. In US, whatever the canola is grown, 90% is GM crop. In case of corn, it is 88%. In cotton, it is 90%. In soybean, 94% of the area is under GM soybean. In case of sugar wheat, it is 95%. So we can see, slowly slowly, there is huge participation of GM crops in cultivation of the crops. Second technology, nanotechnology. Nanotechnology can be used in agriculture in numerous ways. It can help in promoting soil fertility and balanced crop nutrition, effective weed control, enhancing seed emergence using carbon nanotubes, delivery of agriculture chemicals, field sensing system to scrutinize the environmental stresses, and crop conditions and improvement of plant traits against environmental pressure and diseases. Nanotechnology makes available significant opportunities for the development of innovative products and applications for agriculture, water treatment, food production, processing, preservation, and packaging. Its use may generate potential benefits to the farmers, food industry, and consumers Nanotechnology based food and health food products and food packing materials are available to the consumers in some countries and additional products and applications are presently in the research and developmental stage. Nanotechnology has a great potential in revolutionizing the food packaging. Third technology is protected cultivation. Protected cultivation or greenhouse cultivation is the area where production of horticulture crops has improved qualitatively and quantitatively. In India, the area under protected cultivation is presently 
around 25,000 hectares, while the greenhouse vegetable cultivation area is around 2,000 hectares. The protected cultivation is having the restraints of land holdings, rapid urbanization, decreasing crop production, decreasing biodiversity, ever increasing population and demand for food, specifically vegetables in increasing. These factors have increased multiple and protected cultivations. These factors have offered a new dimensions to produce more in a limited area. Polyhouses can also be utilized for rainwater harvesting. Next technology is farm mechanization. India has a high share of labor around 55% with lesser contribution to farm mechanization around 40%. Making farming techniques less remunerative leads to an increase in the poverty of the farmers. One of the major blockages in farm mechanization in India is 138 million land holdings. Farm mechanization and use of modern gadgets, machines, equipments and tools for well-timed and effective completion of operations in agricultural field is one of the most important factors for maximizing productivity. A small machines suitable for horticulture operations in the hills and mountains which will improve operations usefulness and farm income. Farm mechanization will help to improve the overall productivity with lowest cost. As per the data, the farm mechanization can help in 15 to 20% saving in seeds, 15 to 20% savings in fertilizers, 5 to 20% increase in cropping intensity, 20 to 30% saving in time, 25 to 30% reduction in manual labor and 10 to 15 percent overall increase in farm productivity. Now use of farm machines. One of the challenges that farmers face nowadays is the need to satisfy labor. There is an increasing cost of labor which calls for better approaches to ensure less cost on labor. The introduction of combined harvesters and planters simplifies the process. Production and time are some of the important elements in agriculture to plant early, harvest in time, as well as ensure that the yield is stored within the right time. The use of modern technology in agriculture ensures that farmers grow vast food within the shortest time possible. In using farm machines, there is swath control mechanism which is a GPS-based control system for application machines or planters or even combined harvester that reduces the effect of overlapping as operations occur in a field. GPS technology has been used in the development of autopilot sprayers, combined harvesters and tractors that do not require any driver. Such technology is important in agriculture in that it promotes better and more efficient farming practices. For example, the autopilot tractors and sprayers are equipped with tracking systems that eliminates human error and in the end save the fuel and equipment. The savings come from utilizing fewer inputs like seeds, fertilizers, insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, etc. Now next technology is use of crop sensors. Effective application of fertilizers and pesticides remains to be a big challenge in agriculture, especially when it comes to the determination of what fertilizer works best for different plants, when to apply, as well as what quantities. The use of crop sensors can make it easy for farmers to effectively apply fertilizers and pesticides just as much as the crops need. Variable rate technology becomes useful in such cases. Such technology gives you the opportunity to sense how your plants are feeling and subsequently help you reduce the probability of leaching or surface runoff. 
crop sensors are designed in a manner that they dictate to the application machinery the amount of the resource that a given crop needs and at what times. Now chatbot technology for agriculture. Chatbot is a computer program which provides instant response and manages swift conversation with any respondent online. It is understandable that farmers need to get guidance regarding the weather, cropping trends, farming techniques, government schemes and every other thing that is important. A chatbot can easily provide it to farmers. Chatbots help the farmer with real-time artificial intelligence based advisory. Chatbots can help the farmers to formulate a comprehensive strategy. Next technology is telematics. This technology is the equipment to talk to the farmers, equipment dealers and even other equipment. When one has to bring work to a halt due to some problem within the equipment, with telematics the deal can be assessed on the onboard diagnostic system of the tractor. On the basis of the problem, equipment can be fixed right from the dealer. In this way, the farmers get back to work and their time of visiting the dealer also gets saved. Farmers are able to keep track of what field equipment is, fuel consumption, operating hours and much more. This technology also facilitates communication between tractors. Now use of modern irrigation methods. Availability of water is regarded as the most essential aspect for increasing productivity in agriculture. In India, around 78% water is utilized in the agriculture sector and the remaining is made use of for industry, drinking and other purposes. Therefore, it is essential to increase the water storage facilities. Dryland agriculture should be the main focus as more than 60% of the cultivated area within the country is without proper irrigation methods. Recognizing the rapid decline of irrigation water potential and increasing demand for water from different sectors, a number of demand management strategies and programs have been introduced to save water and increase the water usage efficiency in Indian agriculture. Irrigation is vital to the global food supply as 18% of the world's irrigated farmland yields 40% of the world's food. Less than 4% of the world's irrigated land is equipped with micro-irrigation systems. So to improve the irrigation efficiency, we have to use like drip irrigation system or a sprinkler irrigation systems to save water and use efficiently. Next technology is modernized technology transfer tools. Technology transfer in agriculture needs to put emphasis upon main involvement at different stages of the crop from sowing of seeds, crop protection, harvesting and post-harvest management to marketing. Technology transfer needs operative collaborating groups like self-help groups and farmers club which should become tools of distributing information about various government sponsored schemes. These entities will help in coordinating with various government departments for developmental activities. As a central government has an aspiring program of connecting every gram panchayat of the country with internet facilities. These tools can be beneficial in distribution of weather data, agroclimatic conditions and latest information on prices of agriculture produced to farmers. Krishi Vigyan Kendraj KVK, have been established in each district of the country and now these are the pillars of technology distributions within the country. There are great role of information and communication system in agriculture like it is 
used in the agriculture extension and advisory services promote sustainable farming practices disaster management and enhance market access food safety and traceability and financial inclusion and regulatory and policy of governments now mobile technology in the present existence the use of mobile technology has become productive to a major extent it is playing an imperative part in the monitoring and controlling crop irrigation systems with using proper equipment a farmer is able to control his irrigation systems instead of driving to each field mobiles and computers are facilitating these processes to a large extent moisture sensors in the ground are able to communicate information about the levels of moisture present at certain depth of soil this leads to moisture precise control over the water and other inputs like usage of fertilizers insecticides pesticides that are applied by the irrigation pivots next technology is use of gps in fields documentation gps which refers to the global positioning systems is becoming a common technology in agriculture through the gps it is easy to determine and document the yields from a given farm as well as record the application rates such technologies are useful in that the farmers can rely on the collected and recorded data for reference when making any decisions the recommendable documentation technology is the yield map which can be used to offer a summary of entire year's activities such maps are highly useful as they can give a wide range of information about just anything such as the status of the drainage system in your field the data about weather trends demand of crops land mapping distribution channels and market rates can help the farmers align his strategy for the best results farmers can get quality insights on environmental factors and latest farming technologies through various tools next technology is use of sensor technology remote monitoring is now driving change by allowing farmers to monitor their crops using sensors connected to the internet either via physical lines low power radio networks or mobile lte networks research has highlighted the importance of this technology there are estimated to be over 40 key decisions that farmers need to make for any one individual crop and so detailed information on soil acidity water retention and nutrient levels are all important to the success of the farmer farmers can use sensor to map soil types improve crop yield and enable variable rate fertilizer application over the life span of the crop next technology is weather modification weather modification is the conscious modification or manipulation of the environment with the main purpose of bringing about changes in the weather conditions a recognized technology is known as cloud observation to increase the chance of rain or snow to regulate the local water supply in the distant future with advancement there will be climate engineering intervening directly in the climate system two main technologies that are made use of to counter global warming are the removal of carbon dioxide and the regulation of sun radiation next technology is internet of things for agriculture the world of internet of things has so many innovative ways to offer to the agriculture industry from tilling the soil to managing irrigation from a storage to transportation everything can be managed seamlessly with internet of things and not just agriculture internet of things can also be a great help in animal husbandry 
and livestock management. Farmers can improve their prospects significantly through Internet of Things tools such as remote crop mapping, remote equipment management, weather forecast, livestock, geofencing, warehousing, storage, and sensor-based resource management. Next technology is crop forecast technology for agriculture. Agriculture depends on so many different factors. Crop forecast technology is a system to analyze the data about weather, soil fertility, pesticides and fertilizer used, and periodic crop yield, which allows the farmer to do perfect economic planning and it strengthens the global food security also. Next is data science technology for agriculture. Data science helps information recasting and agriculture forecasting is very important for farmers as well as for agriculture companies. Data science improves decision making and it narrows down the reaction time. It can transform the way agriculture has been done. There are two types of forecasting. First one is input forecasting which includes forecast about the requirement of seeds, pesticides, fertilizers, irrigation and overall cost of farming. And second is output forecasting which includes forecast about the crop yield, income and profits, market rates of different crops etc. Next technology in agriculture is renewable energy. The importance of renewable energy such as wind and solar energy primarily is made use of in the production of electrical energy. The change to this form of energy requires the electrification of a large number of activities that are now based on fossil fuels such as heating and rapid movements. Biofuels may be part of the solution if there will not be any fossil fuels left. Renewable energy is an important aspect within the agriculture sector. There are numerous reasons why agriculture sector has played an important role in the production of renewable energy. Next is biorefineries and biofuels. Biorefinery aims to process the biomass in an efficient manner for the optimal use of components and minimal waste. The complete utilization of biomass does not require additional agriculture land. It is also possible to exchange the residual flow of biomass between different value chains to attain optimum use and to avoid competition between food, fodder and fuels. Biofuels is a cooperative term for fuels made from biomass. It is normally not possible to replace petrol or diesel with biofuel without adapting the engine. The first generation biofuels lead to a reduction in carbon dioxide emissions by 50% and the second generation by 90%. Next technology is use of smart materials. The term smart materials are used as a collective term for materials that are able to change their shape through the external influence including pressure, temperature, humidity, acidity and electric and magnetic fields. Like examples of these materials include piezoelectric materials or piezocrystals, safe memory metal, electric and magnetic rheological liquids, conductive polymers, color changing materials and light emitting materials etc. The use of smart materials has proven to be beneficial. They are used to clean up hazardous materials, add up functional performance, have an impact on packaging and so forth. Next technology is use of collars in livestock tracking. Livestock has been contributing to generate productivity in the agriculture sector to a major extent. Therefore, it is important to take care of their needs. Collars developed 
for livestock are helping the individuals to keep track of their herds. Sensors in the collar sends information to a rancher's a smartphone giving the ranchers a heads up on where his cattle might be or maybe they are in some problem. The individuals are able to keep track of in what position and situation their herds are. It is a kind of telematics for the herds. In rural areas, rearing of livestock is an important area and when farmers and agriculture laborers are engaged in their occupations, it is vital to keep track of livestock. So, callers are playing very very important roles. Next technology is online marketplace platform for agriculture. Online marketplace platform have the potential to manage the input and output in agriculture domain. In fact, India is an agriculture centric economy and India has the potential to be the best agriculture industry in the world with the help of technology. Managing procurement of farm produce to managing its supply throughout the world, it is made so simple with today's technology. The world is going towards a new global agriculture revolution and online marketplace platforms are the best way for agriculture companies to reap the benefits of technology. Other technology is blockchain technology for agriculture. Blockchain technology can ensure the quality and integrity of the produce and it can also bring transparency in the agriculture marketplaces. More importantly, this technology helps to remove the bad players and wrong process that have plagued the agriculture industry. This can ensure the ideal distribution from farm to market where everyone wins. Global giants such as Walmart, Alibaba, UPS, Amazon, Nestle have already embraced the blockchain technology and the world's going to witness a lot more transformations brought about by blockchain technology in the future. Next is information technology. The use of information technology in the agriculture sector is making available online services for information, education and training, monitoring and consultation, diagnosis and monitoring, and transaction and processing. E-commerce is primarily used for direct connections between local producers, traders, retailers and suppliers. The facilitation of communication among us researchers, extension knowledge workers and farmers is important. Question and answer services where experts reply to the question on particular subject Information communication technology services to block and district level developmental official for improved efficiency in delivering services for complete agricultural development. Current information needs to be supplied to the farmers early about subjects such as packages of practices, market information, weather forecasting, input supplies, credit availability and so forth. Database should be created with the details of the resources of the local villagers, site-specific information systems, expert systems and so forth. There is provision for early warning systems about the diseases, pest problems and information regarding the rural development programs, crop insurances, post-harvest technology and many more. Next technology is Teleeducation. Teleeducation for farmers, a website created by the Agriculture Research Institutes, making the latest information available to the extension knowledge workers and obtaining their feedback have rendered a significant contribution in the development of the agriculture sector. Now here we will study about analytical aspects of technology transformations. The adoption of technologies for sustainable farming system is a challenging and dynamic issue for farmers 
extension services, agribusiness, and policy makers. The demand is driving the adoption of technologies, research efforts, farmer education and training, advice and information are shifting towards balancing economic efficiency with environmental and social sustainability. Technologies are increasingly being developed in a global market, applied at the farm level but impacting on sustainability beyond the farm. Adopting technologies for sustainable farming system is multidisciplinary, involves uncertainty and trade-offs. Several factors are facilitating the adoption of technologies for sustainable farming system. Other factors are constraining the adoption of technologies. Farmers need to face the right signals for the adoption of appropriate technologies and assessing technologies for farming system from a sustainability perspective in its infancy. So this presentation was all about technical transformation in agriculture. Hope this will be very very useful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements. Thank you.